Okay, look, we're not going to do too much in this uh, short set of introductory uh, tutorials into Opus. We've looked at the basics of how to start a new project. Um, once we have that project, how to um, start a page, how to do that either from a template or you could change uh, the background image. Uh, just a quick example, let's say you didn't like this template. Go up to your object, which is the index page at present, double click. Go to background. And here we can actually uh, browse for a different background or we could potentially do it under image as well. Uh, these backgrounds here will allow you to choose preset kind of uh, colored backgrounds as you can see. And there are quite a few and there are different styles as well. You can have a bit of a look through them. Or if you want an actual image, let's browse. Um, we've chosen a template so it's gone to that uh, option. If we go to uh, for example here, let's grab these blue hills um, and apply that. That will become our background. Now we can change that at any point uh, that we want to, but as uh, with all things it's always best to plan first. Um, once we have those pages and we have those backgrounds, we can insert text from these tutorials. We can link that text which is an object uh, to an action which might be to go to for example the next page quick review of that I'm going to choose this object right click edit actions that's text 3 which is at, when we look here page 2 uh, we're going to do left mouse click double click to bring up that action we're going to add an action to that which is for example go to in this case page 2 apply OK and when we preview that by going publication preview uh, by clicking on that link we will jump to page 2. Now uh, these, uh, particularly when you get to a larger object, will need to be renamed appropriately and ideally you'd uh, name the objects before you insert them and that will um, assist you I guess in uh, remembering where your particular object should be going in your product but all of that takes a lot of planning. Um, okay, what else have we learnt? Uh, we've learnt how to create some simple hotspots. Um, if we go back to this uh, hotspot here, we have this little one placed over the um, uh, bear here that linked to a sound. Once we insert the hotspot, which I think you know how to do by now, uh, we can right click that object, edit the actions, and link that hotspot to a particular sound or, or action. So what I want you to do is start from scratch, find a background you like, think of a very simple idea for a web page. This won't be your final web page, just a short practice, and apply as many of the principles you've learnt through these tutorials as possible. Uh, review these at any time or ask your teacher for assistance. Uh, I hope this has given you a kind of a broad overview of uh, a very basic idea of what Opus can do. But let's see how far you can take it uh, with some of your own work. So good luck.